Uh, hey everybody, Lewis here in East Palestine uh, on our fifth trip back over the last year. Uh, we're just outside of an event that was put on by uh, Dr. Rick Chai, who's actually running for Congress. Uh, Brenda came up and uh, she recognized me from an, an earlier trip, so thanks for coming up and saying something. Um, unfortunately though, uh, so Brenda, if you want to fill everybody in on, on kind of what you're just uh, sharing with me, uh, you worked in town uh, yes. right along the tracks and yes. you recently had a diagnosis. Yes, um, I worked at East Palestine for about five, maybe six years. Mm -hmm. um, when this uh, train derailment happened, I worked the very next day mm -hmm. and it was, it was pretty bad. And then I just started like getting sicker and sicker. Like at the beginning it was nosebleeds and nausea. And then it, this year in August, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. I've gone through two surgeries in five weeks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's just it's just been it's been devastating because I was worried about my health after all of this happened, mm -hmm. and I want to be here for my grandkids. Mm -hmm. So naturally, I did all the cancer treatments and everything that I needed to do. Right. Right now, I'm cancer free. That's so, good. Yeah. yeah. So, and you, just to be clear, you had never had any run-ins with cancer before any of this at all. Obviously, you know, we're not going to draw the conclusion. No, it's going to be difficult to, that, yeah. yeah. But I will say that you're the second person in the last two days that I've talked to who have both been diagnosed, both with breast cancer as well. Right. Um, so, you know, it's, I think it's important to kind of keep track of these things, especially over the next couple of years. Personally, I mean, uh, we, we heard from Lori on stage, I guess, what sort of symptoms were you experiencing throughout this? Well, I don't know if Norfolk Southern had anything to do with it, but I got breast cancer. I lived in that house for 25 years. Now, the research that I did, vinyl chloride, extended exposure to that will expediate the cancer. So, I, I don't know. I've had... After that, I've had, uh, I've, besides going through all that, right. I've had, you know, dry mouth, eyes are irritated, uh, sinus problems, headaches, rashes. nauseated. Rashes. Rashes, yeah. I still support, I'm still sporting a few right now, and uh, it's just been a living hell. That's what, I'm so worried about our kids. Yeah. I'm really worried about our grandkids, because when we go, we, we want to give the house to them. What, what, what are we giving them? A death sentence? You know, initially we, we spoke with Wayne last time. I know you're dealing with, with breast cancer at the moment. Um, Lori, you've been dealing with health symptoms. I guess, yes. general update, how have you all been feeling? Um, when we're away from here, we feel great. When we come home, the symptoms return. For me, headache, burning lips, uh, taste in my mouth, burning eyes. Mm -hmm. um, Wayne had surgery in July. Um, had a double mastectomy, went through four rounds of chemo, mm -hmm. um, not out of the woods yet. Mm -hmm. uh, still have to go back and do some more uh, testing, uh, make sure that he is clear. But unfortunately uh, for us, for him, there are many other cancers that he's susceptible to at this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's a gambit. Right, right, right. And, and I, I mean, obviously, I'm sure you're, you have a, a lot of stuff going on uh, physically that you're feeling with symptoms related to this. And just in general, how, how are things been going on your end? Well, the chemo really knocked me for a loop for a while there. Um, uh, definitely loss of appetite. Food did not taste good no matter what I ate. Mm -hmm. Even my favorites were eh. Yeah. Uh, no energy at all mm -hmm. whatsoever. I slept a lot. <clears throat> Lost my hair. Yep. Um, but it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it's just been a nightmare. A nightmare. But I've got good doctors. Yep. They all treated me really well. Yep. Uh, yeah. So shout out for them. Yep. And you know who you are. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been, I, I never dreamed I would go through something like this. Right. Yeah. No. And I mean, uh, uh, it's, yeah, I, I can't imagine. So I'm not even going to try to to put myself in your shoes. And I want to to be clear for folks too. So uh, Wayne got this derailment after, or sorry, got this diagnosis after the derailment. We don't necessarily, 
I'm, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions and tie this together. Uh, it's going to be tricky to kind of tie, tie these things together in the future. Um, but, and, and I hope I'm wrong in saying this, uh, when you when you set a whole bunch of carcinogens on fire and mm -hmm. detonate them in a small town and then three days later tell everybody that it's fine to return yeah. and folks have been living in this in this community in, a, in Ohio and in Pennsylvania uh, since then uh, you know it, it doesn't take a, a genius to figure out that you know the, the potential implications of this are going to be cancer for a lot of people moving forward. So again, I don't, I don't want to draw the conclusions. Uh, it sounds like you're you know you all aren't drawing conclusions about it. You've, no, you know, no, we can't. Right. If we don't have proof positive, you know, mm -hmm. you can't, but it's very suspicious. Mm -hmm. um, we've lived in this home for 25 years, mm -hmm. um, never had the health issues that we've had since then. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said, oh, you know, it's in your mind. It's because you're worried. No, no. We know we've raised our children here. Our daughter, our youngest daughter still lives here mm -hmm. and she also has been suffering health issues. Mm -hmm. um, she's scheduled to be go be checked next month mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to check her to make sure that she is cancer free. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's that part is not hard right. to connect those dots. Right. Mm -hmm. When you've lived, we've changed nothing in our living habits. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, you know, we have a child who is, or a young woman who is throwing up all the time, mm -hmm. um, sick all the time. He comes down with cancer. I have these headaches and everything that, you know, we never had here. Right. So you kind of, you can, you can connect the dots, but mm -hmm. you can't do it so that they believe. Right. Deny, yeah. deny, deny. Uh, right. I, I hope it's not the case that we're coming back reporting on hearing more I of this. But, um, and so you, you worked, uh, you know, in a place that's along the, the, the railroad yes. tracks, essentially. Uh, I had experience on the first trip we came in. In, in that business actually and this this you walked into the store and I actually remember saying something to John the cameraman over here being like walking into that store you it's it like was getting hit the wave um, uh, did you experience other symptoms while you were working there in the beginning or or um, and, and even now have you experienced anything just, beyond the just after the derailment like I would go to work I was a manager, uh, assistant manager, so I was there almost every day. Mm -hmm. I would come in with nausea. I, I actually, actually did get sick in the parking lot. Um, I had the nosebleeds, mm -hmm. and my nose was numb and burning. Mm -hmm. it, and I just felt unwell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, curious your thoughts, just uh, obviously in the last couple of days, we've now heard that President Biden uh, is, is saying that he's going to be coming sometime in February. Uh, he was absent from from a visit earlier in the year what's your initial thought i think it's too that? little too late mm -hmm. he turned his back on a town that really needed his help mm -hmm. but he turned his back on us mm -hmm. he went to hawaii he went to other places but you know a little town in east palestine you know right right we're just a dot on the map mm -hmm. yeah um that's sentiment is shared by most a lot of the folks that we've been talking with so far and i'm not surprised either because at the you know if he came early on when there was something that could be done, you know, uh, this shouldn't matter. But politically, I mean, he wasn't going to be popular in this in this area yeah. before this. But I think people would set that aside if he came and was like, hey, clearly this was a disaster. We need to make sure you all are right. helped. Uh, that would have been a much different situation waiting a year and having you all essentially just suffer through this for a year and then coming to show up uh, feels. I mean, it was admirable that Trump was here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Trump fan. I love mm -hmm. Trump. But he came he didn't even have to be here mm -hmm. but you would think that the man who's running our country would want to be involved in what was going on in this little tiny town mm -hmm. uh where i mentioned at the beginning of this we're outside of a an event for uh rick chai who's an east palestine resident running for congress uh you know do you think having someone like like rick in there would would be able to make a difference i do he's a go-getter he 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 says it like it is and if you don't like it you know hey but he is a man of his word. Mm -hmm. I've known him for many years. I've known him and his wife for many years and they're, fa they're fantastic people. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm honored to know them and I, he's got my vote. Mm -hmm.